Ah, Lord God, behold, you made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. Ah, Lord God, there's an exclamation there. He's astonished. He says, you have made the heavens and the earth with your great power. And by your outstretched arm, there is nothing too difficult for you. You have to answer when God says, is my power limited? You got to say, no, sir. You are unlimited in your power. There's no limitations. There is no boundaries. There is no measurement to your power. You are infinitely powerful. Come on, talk to me, somebody. There is nothing too hard for you. And yet, how much we fuss in life? Huh? How much we fuss? If our children go a little bit on the other side, I know, I know, I don't know why God is not answering me. I don't, I don't know, God, why, why are you doing this to me? Why are you picked on me only to be like this? We run our tongue off, you know, not realizing our power source. If you want to release the supernatural, know your power source. How will you go and pray for the sick if you're not sure that he'll heal you? See, unless you walk in hell, can you demand healing for others? If you can't get rid of your own headache, how you'll go and pray for somebody with a cancer? You'll be calling the pastor for everything or the evangelist or the visiting preacher. I came to let every believer in this church know you are anointed to release the supernatural. Everyone. I don't care how old you are in the faith. Whether you're one year old or, or 40 years old in the faith. It doesn't matter. You are anointed to release the supernatural. But you got to know your power source. Number one, you got to know who you are in Christ. Number two, you got to know your power source.